Hello everyone, Callie here with a new Tech Tips video for you today. We are discussing how to use exclamation mark sound alerts in your chat. Which means that your viewers on Twitch, YouTube can type the exclamation mark, whatever the sound is, and it will play it on your stream. Super awesome, right? Yes. Now, I've tried a few online bots to make it work with no low luck at all, none. Um, but the Streamlabs chatbot downloadable client that you put on your computer does work for this. So we're going to go through how to set this up. All right, let's get started. When you get it installed, after downloading it from the website link that I had on screen there, it's going to look kind of like this. Now, first thing you have to do is go to connections. You could also set up a custom Twitch bot, which for me on my channel is attorney a bot. That is my bot that I have set up for this. You could go create an extra Twitch account and assign it to this with the authorization token from this generation thing and connect it to that account. So you could have a custom bot, no need to pay fees for it. It's pretty great. Now you also need to authorize the Twitch streamer. And I believe you need to authorize it through Streamlabs and the streaming service. So there's lots of authorization to do. I'm not going to go through that. Basically, you, you click your service on each one of the things. You go and uh, do the generation with each one of these particular items to get it connected, authorize it. It's going to take you about 10 minutes or so with the different logins getting connected. But once you're connected, unless there's a problem, or unless you change your password, you won't have to worry about it again. So, get all these connected. I know it's frustrating. I'm sorry. I can't control programmers. Just be how it does. All right. Once you got that done, you're going to go to Sound Files. Close this, obviously. Sound Files tab. It shouldn't have these, it shouldn't have anything. So we're gonna add, we're gonna name this one Kazu Hael. For this uh, recent sound effect I know I've gotten. Now you're gonna want to set the volume kind of down a bit because it could be very loud. 40 might even be high. You can have it automatically generate a command. Now if you don't want your chat spamming you with sounds, set a cooldown. You, could, you can only do like one minute is the minimum. You could also put various commands down here to have people, uh, when it, they play a sound, it does a various response. You could have some different code, like the user did this or something. Um, so don't, don't be afraid to do that. Uh, and then you could choose what usage scenario you want it to be, stream chat, etc. So you could have them set up to where I just want VIP, I just want subscribers, moderators, etc to be able to do that. You could I have multiple groups. We're going to set this one up as testing. So we're going to pick the sound file. Here's the Kazu app. Now, you're going to hit preview to see what it does. Fallen leaves adorn my night. So when people are using this command, exclamation mark Kazu L, it will play that sound. Now, don't forget to click Submit, and it will pop up here in this. If you want to edit it, you could just click the Edit button, and it will take you back to this screen. And that's that's it. That's it. You, you, you all did it. Congratulations. Now, I will show you something else cool that I have done. One moment, please. I have one called Retribution. So now what this one does for all you Genshin fans out there. Time for retribution. You know that, that is D Luke's first ability. So I have programming on this. Number two. Your username has a number random number zero to ninety-nine. Can't survive retribution from Kelly, so it will take a type that username has a random chance to survive retribution. We can go to the console and show you what that looks like. Time for and it will pop up that Cali Chronicles has a 42% chance to survive Retribution from Cali. It's pretty cool. You could do lots of other programming on this, but these are generally popular. 
people like this type of thing on streams. I, I, I don't know why. Retribution from Callie is swift and fierce. Anyway, everyone, that's going to be it for me for today. I hope this tutorial is useful for you and your endeavors on Twitch. Uh, consider hitting that like button if you like this video so that way other people can find it and enjoy it and make their streams even better. And I will hopefully see you all in some other tech videos. If you click on screen right now, you can see another one that might help you level up your stream. Thanks, and I will see you next time.